Hi everyone, today I'll be discussing about something which is very, very important in the current context of innovation in India and a very important concept where the Indian government is also taking a lot of initiatives is why to file a patent application. Third very important point is uh, we are in industry 4 era right now. So most of the applications or I would say uh, the chunk of the applications like 80% plus plus applications are being written uh, which are software enabled that means there's some kind of communication network involved in the uh, process or the product pattern application so when we talk about process and product pattern application it can be iot based iot stands for internet of things where internet is used as a tool so internet here is a communication network or it can be a communication module too then we have ar ar is augmented reality then ML, ML is uh, machine learning algorithms, how those algorithms are different and what kind of functioning it is doing and which is not very evident to a person's skill in the art. So a lot of research has to be done in these kind of applications. Then uh, the fourth very important is virtual reality. The point is a description point. Uh, just I would summarize everything, whatever I have discussed. The day you file the provisional patent application, you get a receipt. So you are first to file, congratulations. You become a winner in terms of you know owning something it's an asset so you should enjoy it secondly the more facts the better the application use the ambit of writing in detail 20 to 30 pages till 30 pages including all the forms if i'm talking just about form 2 uh, no extra fees need to be paid in terms of uh, the government fee structure uh, which is not much because uh, what happens is people think uh, ipr is a costly affair see anything which is legal is not a costly affair it's a strategic move so that your assets are created in a better manner. Now, a lot of facts uh, which might be useful for uh, the students or the aspirants who are planning to give the patent agent exam uh, 2020. Uh, the fact is, it is a non-published document. So say for example, uh, a third party entity files a patent application and uh, what happens is uh, in the 12 month time, uh, some kind of business uh, you know, uh, the venture takes a new outlook altogether. So in that case, you might not even uh, file a complete application, but you have filed a provisional patent application. So you can always use the tag of patent pending and that can be utilized uh, for marketing techniques. So since it's not a published document, until unless you file a complete application, non-provisional non application or complete application, that would be published. Provisional application is never published by the patent office. If you're claiming it in the, or uh, when you are drafting the form two, you select the option of a provisional patent application. So provisional patent application has to go with a complete application and then only the complete application will be, uh, there's no such thing uh, called as rejection of provisional patent application. Provisional patent application is never published. So that's a real fact. Questions related to provisional patent application, or you would like us to review your application before filing before the Indian Patent Office, we would be happy to do that. You can drop your comments in the comment box below. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, I am active on LinkedIn quite a lot, and uh, we'd happy to meet you in person. Wish everyone a very blissful 2020. Thank you for watching this video. Sorry, uh, Assistant Professor, Computer Science Department, Dasindili Abdul Qadir College. Uh, Priti had taken more effort to get patents for our college, especially seaweed chocolate. Thank you very much, Priti. The nutritional rich chocolate, which is going to make uh, a mark on the market. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure, yeah. sure. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful effort. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark.